I think right now, specifically with the racial ju justice movements going on right now, um, it can be really helpful. You don't want to seem like you're trying to jump onto the bandwagon um, specifically, but you want to also show that there are different issues going on in racial communities. And yes, if you consider Judaism in, in, a, in a sort of white race, I was actually having a conversation with um, department in our school and they're like, um, you're protected people, but there's different legally terms of what that can be, of what protected people that can be, that can mean religion, a race, it could be um, ethnicity and origin of place. And I was like, Judaism, we fall under all those things because we were a people before religion. We are we are a tribal religion where we came, we had our clothing, we had our dress, we had our names that we were ourselves before we, we, we had the Torah by Mount Sinai. So we were our people before we were necessarily even this official religion. So yes, we are this race where we have our culture and you don't necessarily have religious Jews who still have this connection to Judaism. So showing that we are attacked as a people who those people won't even um, practice that faith, but they're still a attacked for something just because they're Jewish, whether they'll have a Magin David necklace or they'll say something Jewish or they even stand for Israel and they're not even Jewish, they'll be like kind of pushed as, as a Jew. So framing it as um, that we are racial issues and how people are targeting us for certain things can be helpful, but you have to frame it in a logical perspective way.